Listen up, I'm Brian Pond. Amanda. And this is Take, Take Me, Me Out Food, food Reviews. Reviews. Uh, today we are eating at, from Moe's Originals Barbecue, we are having their redneck nachos. Now of course, y'all know what nachos are, but the twist on this one here, let's go ahead and try to angle that without spilling out the contents, boom, is essentially it's a uh, barbecue dish on kettle chips. Yeah, on kettle chips. What I'm seeing right off the bat is some white Alabama white sauce barbecue. I'm seeing jalapenos. I'm seeing diced tomatoes. I'm seeing uh, purple onions and kettle chips. So jalapenos, kettle chips. Oh yeah. So obviously, you know, not nachos are usually a Tex-Mex meal. But yeah. There's definitely coleslaw. Hmm. And Moe's Original Barbecue is, I don't know where they're headquartered, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Alabama. They are founded here in Alabama. It's all over the website. And this just looks amazing. There's 11 bucks. And I think a meal for two for 11, which is what this is. This is a meal for two. And on a side note, this is one of their appetizers. <laughs> so it's got that southern charm of giving you more food than you could possibly eat. And our solution to that is split it. Now, now as far as freshness goes, they are canned jalapenos, but the onions are definitely fresh, and so, yeah. That, Think the tomatoes are not sure, not sure on the tomatoes, but it's delicious. The barbecue is soft. Your choices of meat were pork, chicken, or turkey for this. We chose pork, which I think this is the first fast food pork dish we've had. But obviously, some of those Vinny sausages and stuff had pork in it. So this is the first good pork we've had. Wait, no, 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 the the jerk we, we had raw beef, so yeah, this is the first good, good pork we've had. Also, something that's interesting we've noticed with, with doing our research for food channels and stuff like that is a lot of people, there isn't a lot of barbecue place content. And my guess on that is because, like for Google searches and YouTube algorithms, you're more likely to get stuff off of off of the big chain restaurants and things like that. Like that's what people are googling. Like our biggest video as of this recording is our Domino's hot wing pizza, and I believe the reason Buffalo hot wing pizza. And I believe the reason for that is because people have been go looking at it on menu and hey, Google it to see what people say about it, and we're one of the only results. <laughs> hmm. I don't think barbecue places quite have that luxury because of, you know what you're getting when you get a barbecue place. Most people think, oh, barbecue place is going to be the same as, like, say, Jim and Eggs or Full Moon. Mm-hmm. Which are places we're going to go to. But we figured Moe's Original is great because it was founded here in Alabama. And we're, we're kind of biased on that front. But this is genuinely good and it's fun. So, how do, you, how do you feel about the redneck nachos, dear? <laughs> mm. Okay. So the first question I always ask if I enjoy something, is this something I would order again? Yes. Um, it tastes, yeah, it's a lot more like 
traditional nachos than I'd expect because of the diced tomatoes and the jalapenos. But obviously, it's got the barbecue flavor profile, and it's like what you would expect off of any loaded potato you got. The difference is it's got, you know, it's got jal jalapenos and, uh, it's got jalapenos and it's got chip, potato chips. Onions. Huh? I don't know. You generally don't find onions on a loaded um, potato. Yeah, so it's a, it's a surprisingly good hybrid because I, I figured this was either going to be... Well, this is the first time I've ever had this. I figured this was going to be either really good or awful. You know, so awful it's funny. But no, this is really good. I'm going to give it a uh, 10 out of 10. This is really good. I do enjoy it. I do love the fact that, like, despite the fact these are not what you would traditionally find on a nacho. Like, your mommy who eats potato chips with nachos. The flavor surprisingly makes very well, especially with the white sauce and the barbecue sauce. I love it. 10 out of 10. Moe's, keep it up. Yep. And we will be back to Moe's to check out the rest of their menu. So be be look, looking forward to that, and let me know what other barbecue places you'd like us to check out, cause we aren't gonna be scared away just because you know we live here in the we live here in Alabama. I think it would be a shame if we did a food channel and ignored barbecue places. The pork is very very tender. Uh huh. Melts in your mouth good. Nice and warm. We had it delivered. I was real worried when they said uh, potato chips that they would get soggy too quick, but no, the uh, kettle chips hold up. Mm. So, uh, what are your final thoughts on this, dear? I really can't think of anything really like to change about it because I was pleasantly surprised that this tastes really good as it does. And yeah, I'm just gonna continue to eat. All right. Well, in that case, uh, this is Brian Pond. Amanda. And this has been Take Me Out Food Reviews. See y'all in the next video. Bye.